Here we go. Hey everybody, thank you for joining me on this video. This is going to be my July empties. Um, I'm posting it today because um, we had a house guest last week and so um, mm. I really didn't do any recording to be honest. So I'm just going to show you guys what I got through. Um, I'm going to start with my soaps here and I do have a helper here today. <laughs> So they, these are all from Bath and Body Works. They're all the foaming hand soaps. And this first one is Vanilla Bean Noel. Let's see. This is Fresh Vanilla Bean Warm Caramel and Sugar Cookies. This has been in my guest bedroom upstairs for like probably since last Christmas. And <laughs> it just got complete. Um my mom stays here sometimes but not all the time and when she's not here nobody really I mean other than me going in there to clean it no one is ever in that bathroom so um normally I switch the soaps out even if they're not complete but um this one it was vanilla and so I just let it hang out this is a scent that I really like I don't necessarily like vanilla bean noel in wax form unless it is um in combination with with other things but as a soap, it works great, and I would definitely pick it up again. The next one I have here is Fresh Rain and Spearmint. Where's the notes on this one? So you can see there, it's Spearmint Leaves, Juicy Melon, and Dew Drops. This one's pretty nice. It's not a favorite. It was like a minty um, melon scent, but to me, it wasn't in a... It wasn't like in a good way, because it's a little bit please stop um it's a little bit astringent and not very sweet i did enjoy it but um i would not pick that one up again this next one is fiji white sands and this one is white sands vanilla orchid and warm amber i absolutely love this one i'm pretty sure i've had this before in hand soap but i really like it it's just really tropical really um summery and yeah it just smells really good i really really like that one that is it for soap. I'm going to go ahead and jump into wax before um, I do the candles. So we will start with um, Scarlet Rose. I think that's it. I believe that's it. So this first one here is Satsuma Strawberry Pink Grapefruit. Absolutely adored this scent. I love anything Satsuma, but this blended with the strawberry and the pink grapefruit was just everything. It was an amazing just... Um, like lift your spirits type of um, citrusy scent and I really liked that one next up I have pink panties with uh, lemon chiffon overpour and I'm not sure what the pink panties is but to me it smelled like a um, just kind of like a perfumey scent and that with the lemon chiffon which is just a more kind of in my opinion, lemon chiffon is like a little bit more lighter, airier lemon. It's not like super intense. It was just really beautiful. I enjoyed it. And I got really, really good throw from Scarlet Rose. So I enjoyed um, those two melts. Next up from Rainbow Melts, I have Jolly Sorbet. Um, this is Cranberry, Strawberry, and Lemon Sorbet. And this is, um, this was from the, um, the Advent from last Christmas. This scent was really nice. I melted it because even though it was in the Christmas advent, it's really sweet, really super fruity. Um, and I really enjoyed it. The cranberry in this, to me, didn't smell like a cranberry you could only melt in the cooler months. It just smelled really good. And it had a, that one actually had a really good throw. I feel like I was able to leave that in my warmers. I do turn, turn my warmers off at night. And I do turn them off when I leave the house. So that does extend um, the amount of time I'm able to melt stuff. But given that information, I believe I was able to melt that for like three days. And it had a really strong throw. Next up here is Fuji Apple. This one just came um, in the order that I got. It's just kind of um, like a sweeter apple scent. I did like it. Was it my favorite kind of apple? No. Um, and for me, this isn't really like a fall apple. Like, I wouldn't want to melt this in the fall time. It's really sweet. There's a touch of tartness, but it's not anything intense. 
and I did enjoy the scent it is one that I would definitely repurchase but more for like the spring summer and then last from Rainbow Melts, I have Merry and Bright. This is Sweet Lemon and Vanilla Custard. And this was another one that was really good. So this had no bakery note to it. It was just kind of a more tart, in my opinion, lemon scent um, with that vanilla undertone. Not my favorite lemon vanilla combination, so I wouldn't pick it up again, but it was a really strong thrower. Um, I have one item from Sassy Girl Aroma. So this is Montego Bay. This is Blackberry Beach Night Marshmallow. And I really liked this, but I will say I think I'm kind of burning myself out on Sassy Girl Aroma Blackberry. It tends to be the only thing I'm smelling when I melt her stuff with Blackberry. This scent is a scent that everybody went gaga for. Everyone loved it. And it is a really great scent. But for me... And like I said, I don't know if it's because I'm getting sick of Blackberry or what it is, but the Blackberry to me overpowered the scent. So I didn't get personally a lot of that Beach Night note and I wanted more of it. So I did enjoy the scent. I would definitely repurchase it. It was a really good thrower and yeah, I liked it. From uh, that Smell Good shop, I melted my sample that I got in my order. This is One Cheek Sneak. This was vanilla, cotton candy, pineapple, and orange. This was absolutely amazing. So good. Really good thrower. And one I would definitely pick up for the um, spring and summer months. Then I finished one of those little six packs in Sugar Daddy. This is Barbershop and Blue Sugar. This was another one that was really great. I melted this in my son's room. It was just... Um, not cologne at all. Um, to me, the barbershop is like more creamy. And then that mixed with the blue sugar, which is kind of like a sweeter masculine scent. It was just really nice, really fresh. And I loved it. Would pick that one up again as well. From Wax Incredibles, I finished two items. So I finished this one here. This is so sexy. And I feel like um, this was in my last empties. It's Warm Vanilla Sugar, Cocoa Butter, Cashmere, and Sandalwood. Absolutely love this scent. This scent, um, yeah, it's so, it's like the perfect bedroom scent. It's kind of rich. It's vanilla-y. Um, it's perfumey um, but at the same time it's really soft so I thoroughly enjoyed this and I believe um what date did she say or did she just say September so Wax Incredibles is making a comeback she posted the other day in the group that they would be making a comeback I believe in September I don't know if she's revamping the website revamping her wax I don't know what um the newness is going to be, but I am all over it. You guys know I love Wax Incredibles, and I would definitely, definitely recommend giving her a try when she reopens in September. She's been a really great vendor. Her wax is some of the best throwing wax I have ever had. Like, it is so good. Um, and she has, she had so many scent combinations and scent combinations that I haven't seen from other vendors. Just absolutely love Wax Incredibles. So I'm excited that she is coming back to the wax world. This is the other one I got through from Wax Incredibles. It's Sea Bath. And you can see this is Salty Sea Air, Avo Bath, and Lemon Curd. This one, although it was incredibly strong, um, this one just didn't do it for me. It's just, it's, it's a really... Ugh. It's it's a really tart lemon scent, but at the same time really fresh. And that combination um, kind of, for me, makes it lean a little toward cleaner lemon. So while I did enjoy it, and I probably should have um, maybe combined it with a vanilla cookie crunch or something, I probably would have liked it more. But this one was so overpowering um, tart lemon. And I liked it, but I wouldn't pick it up again. I have a lot of Wonder Berries, so I'm going to go through that. So this first one is a sample I received in Ice Guava Green Tea. I actually really liked this. I didn't really know what to expect, and green tea is not always something I enjoy in wax form, but melting this together kind of gave me a little bit of a perfumey 
scent and so I really liked it. It was like a sweeter green tea scent. I would definitely repurchase this. It's not something I would go out of my way to get but I did really like that one. I also finished Fancy Cake which was just um, a really rich vanilla cake with um, rich vanilla buttercream and this was incredible you guys. If you are into vanillas, if you're into gourmand scents, you will absolutely love this. It was a crazy insane thrower. So there were two little pieces in here and I melted them in my um, Scentsy Accord um, warmer and it just through all over it was so good so decadent so vanilla i would repurchase this one in a heartbeat i absolutely loved it next a couple of bags here so i have creamy lime cola this is cola lime and cream soda this one ugh. well first of all let me say it was a really good thrower but this is one i don't know if i would pick up again um, I like cola scents. It's not that I don't like them. I just think that it's not something I necessarily want throwing all over the house. And that's where, um, I kind of ran into issue with this. It's a really different combination. Like, cola, lime, and cream soda is definitely, there was almost like a freshness to it. But then you got the bubbliness and then you got the richness of like that cola scent. Um, so it was a good one. I would definitely recommend trying this one, especially if you can get it in like, I can't remember how much these were, but, and I can't remember if her claims are cheaper than these or not, but if you can get it like in a clamshell or even a scent shot, I would definitely advise trying it because it's such a unique scent. Um, I'm not going to say I wouldn't get it again. I would just say I've had my fill so far, so I don't need any more, but it is a good scent, very unique. And you should definitely try it if those scent notes sound appealing to you. Then I have Banana Stand. And this is Banana Cream Pie Milkshake topped with cotton candy whipped cream. This one smelled good. But I will say I did not get that great of a throw from this. So when you smelled it in the bag, you definitely got that strong banana scent. It was like a, just a sweet candy banana scent. And I noticed like this one. This other one, this creamy lime cola, which I just melted, I ha I got in October of 2018. And this one, as you can see, I got in February of this year. And I just didn't get a good throw on this. So I'm leaning more towards letting my, um, my uh, Wonderberry kind of... I hope I haven't been calling this the wrong name. This is Wonderberry I'm talking about, but... <laughs> Um, so I'm kind of leaning towards letting that stuff sit a little bit longer because, um, like I said, this one didn't perform well. It's a really good scent and I would definitely pick it up again. I would just let it cure longer. Then I have three clams from Wonderberry. This first one being, um, Hurricane. So this one's a little bit older. Um, it is from August of last year, and you can see the scent notes are fresh air, rain, and salty sea air. This one was a crazy, crazy intense thrower, one where I had to turn it off before it could fully melt. It's just a really fresh, um, mm, like soapy, to me it's not necessarily oceanic, but it's definitely like a rain scent. Um, really fresh, really, really intense. Um, almost headache inducing it was so intense but I did like that I would pick it up again next up I have lady marmalade this is orange spice marmalade apricot jam sugar cookies and whipped cream this was another one that was a really good thrower and I was so surprised I don't know if it's the orange spice that kind of amplified the apricot but I could smell those um, notes in this which is usually really hard especially with apricot because I feel like it um, apricot doesn't really come through that well in wax but this one was a good thrower it was a really um sweet uh bakery scent and but it wasn't like super I don't know it wasn't too much baker it was a really great balance and it was really light too so it's not one where I felt like oh I can only melt this when it's colder because it's so heavy I really liked that one would definitely repurchase and then the last one from Wonderberry is Late Night Munchies. This is Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, Sweet Lavender and Marshmallow. This one was incredible. I absolutely loved it. Um, I did really like her Blackberry Jam scent. 
it blended so good with the lavender and the marshmallow and yeah this one was so good I actually started melting this because when I was going through my stash picking out you know stuff to melt this clam kind of had that skunky scent and I didn't want it to linger or get stuck to the wax like what happened with my um, bathing garden clam from a little while back so I went on and melted it and it did not translate into the wax and the scent was incredible so I really liked that one would repurchase Next we'll do the bathing garden. So I have salted avocado here. I'm sorry, I only have three from her and um, only one of them really requires a scent description that I don't have, but I'll tell you what it smells like. Anyhow, salted avocado. To me, this scent, this was a sample I received and to me this scent was um, just fresh. I really liked it though. So, it's not, it wasn't like super green. It didn't like remind you of like being out in the grass or anything like that. It was just really fresh, but at the same time it was sweet. So I really liked it and I would pick it up again. I mean, I don't really know what avocado smells like. I feel like it just gives a type of greenness to scents, but this just really didn't have that. To me, it just smelled like a fresh, almost oceanic type of scent. Next, another sample I melted is Poppet's Coaster Ride. This one's really popular, and I believe it's like a lemon. It's either lemon, raspberry, or lemon, strawberry. Um, I can't really tell. But this one was really good. It was sweet. It was tart. Um, I didn't get the greatest throw possible with this one, but um, it did smell really good, and I would definitely purchase that in a clam. And then lastly, I have crystallized spearmint and peppermint. So this is just spearmint and peppermint. I can't remember if there's vanilla in this or not, but this scent is so good, you guys. So I feel like there has to be a vanilla in this because it's really sweet. So you get, this is like a two-toned clam. So like the bottom half, I believe, was spearmint. The top was peppermint. But it is so strong. But not in that like burn your nose hairs um, way where, you know, sometimes you melt mint scents and it's just like, oh my God, I need to turn that off. No, this is beautiful. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. Like it still has enough of that mintiness to like help you out if you're stuffy or something. But at the same time, it has that really pretty like vanilla creaminess and it just smells so good. So I've had this scent before from her and I've always liked it and this time is no different. So I would definitely repurchase that and I'm pretty sure that one usually comes out at her at um her at the holiday time with her Christmas stuff. Okay. Now we are going to do um Walmart wax. So the first one I have here is blueberry lime mojito. This, I really liked. So, it's not the most authentic, you know, fruit smelling scent. To me, it is very candy-ish, but it's really sweet. And I didn't get a lot of, like, mintiness that you normally get from a mojito. There was very subtle mint, but not anything intense. To me, it's just a really sweet blueberry lime scent. If you like that kind of scent and you don't need it to be like really authentic, you would probably really enjoy this. I did like that. I would repurchase it. Next up, I have Crystal Healing. Um, you can see there an aura of sun-kissed citrus. This one I liked, but I didn't love. Um, it is very citrusy, and to me, it almost gives off a cologne vibe. I get like a little bit of amber in this, but I also get like a cologne note. Um, it was really strong, good thrower, but not something I enjoyed, not something I would pick up again. This is Inner Zen, and you can see it says Meant to Breathe, and this is another one that I liked, but I didn't love. I feel like I get mint since um, done way better from vendors. This, to me, smelled like um, kind of stale mint gum, if that makes sense. Um, after you've been chewing on it for a while, <laughs> I guess. Um, so it was okay. I, you know, I didn't hate it or anything. It was fine. It's just, I know that I can get a better 
mint blend um, from a vendor, so I wouldn't pick that one up again. Next up, we're gonna do Yankee. So I have one tart here. This is um, Dreamy Summer Nights, one of my all-time faves. If I was picking my top five scents from Yankee, this would definitely fall in there. This, to me, is just a much more pretty, softer, warm vanilla sugar. This, yeah, it's just so soft and perfumey. I absolutely adore it. This tart was so incredibly strong. I actually melted this in my son's room and he has a Yankee warmer in there that is 13 watts. Um, it melted down just fine. It was able to throw in, in his room. It didn't travel now, but it, it was able to throw in his room for about three days. And I could still smell it even when I um, froze the wax. I could still smell it on there. This scent is so good. I will not buy it in a candle. I've had it in a candle before and it did not perform very well for me, but I would repurchase this in tarts or milk cups for sure. Um, this one here is Berry Apple. You can see I've only used one. Um, I absolutely hated this scent. I did not like this at all. So when you smell it on cold, you do get a lot of like cherry. You get a lot of different fruits to be honest. And it's not like bad, but when I went to melt this, this reminded me of um, when you go to the dentist and you have to have work done or they have to do something in your mouth and they put that kind of like cherry gross, um, you know, like stuff on your gums to numb it. Um, that's what this smelled like to me melting and I couldn't take it. So I turned it off. I'm going to pass this along since it is pretty full. I'm going to pass it along to my mom. Or my sister, whichever one of them likes it. And then if they don't like it, they can do whatever they want with it. But this one didn't work for me, which sucks because it does smell really good just in the container. Next up, I have Beachside Punch. This one was so good, you guys. So this literally just smells like a fruity tropical drink. It smells like a, a yummy drink you would be drinking on a resort. So I smell like mango in here i smell papaya i smell orange i get a touch of pineapple it's amazing it was a really good thrower and i would rebuy that in a heartbeat next up i have creamy vanilla coconut this one i honestly didn't have high expectations for i love a good vanilla coconut scent but um, it didn't smell that strong in the in the uh, container here, but this one was so good and so strong. So the coconut in this is not very sweet, so it's really only the vanilla that's sweetening it up. It is very creamy. Um, to me, it is an authentic coconut vanilla scent, almost like a pretty perfume. Yeah. I loved it. If if you just want a good vanilla coconut scent, this one is perfect. I adore it. I absolutely love it. I would repurchase that again. And then finally, the candles I got through. So we'll start with Kringle since it's on top here. So the first one I have here is Fiji. Um, I can't remember the scent notes on this. I think it's coconut frangipani. There's some kind of like fresh note in this. This one was okay, but I did not get that great of a throw from this. So, first of all, there's the burn. I do have rings, but I always have rings on my candles. Um, it did burn all the way down, but the wax is pretty gross. Um, yeah, it smells smoky in here. It's a nice scent. It's not as nice as I thought it was going to be. Um, and the throw wasn't that great on this one, so I wouldn't pick it up again, but um, it was nice while it lasted. And I do have one more of these Fiji ones, so I think what I'm going to try to do is melt that. I'm done, like I'm done with um, summer and spring scents right now, so I've moved on to fall. But next year, I'm going to try to melt um, this one in my bedroom and see how it does. Next up, I have Over the Rainbow, which was just kind of a um, melon scent. So you can see there. I actually wish that these would have burnt down a little bit further, but. So that's the burn on this one. 
This one was actually incredibly strong, but I'm just finding I just don't like melon scents. This one was a little bit sweeter, so it wasn't as, um, I don't know. I didn't like that melon one from Homeworks. I didn't like that one because I didn't think it was sweet enough. This one to me is much sweeter, so it was good in that regard, but I just think I'm over melon unless it's blended with something. Next up, I have Beachside. There's the burn on that one. And this one was nice. So, it didn't necessarily smell beachy. I feel like I got a lot of, like, sandalwood and warm notes from this. But it wasn't necessarily, like, a beachy candle in, in how you think of, of beach. Like, there's no freshness to this like at all there's no like salty sea air or anything like that it's very much like a warm sandalwood scent so I did like it didn't love it wouldn't repurchase it and then I have two from Bath and Body Works I don't know what happened to this lid here there's like wax on it but um this so this is one of these um wider ones that I picked up this is Cactus Blossom, the scent notes on there, Cactus Flower, uh, Sunkissed Coconut, Vanilla, and Lemon. You can see that's about how far it burnt down, so that's disappointing. There's still a ton of wax in there, in my opinion, like it should have went way further down. But I have to say, you guys, this thing threw so incredibly well that it had me questioning if all Bath and Body Works candles should be like this. I know that people don't like this, but man, and Cactus Blossom is just such a nice scent. I never knew, you know, I just never knew that the scent was so good. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm actually considering um, freezing this. I probably am going to do that when this video is over, freeze it and um, take the little, um, wicks out of there and uh, cut this up because it's a really nice scent it's fresh it's perfumey um it's just really pretty and again the throw on this was just incredible this has me wanting to try other more um kind of flatter lower to the surface bath and body works candles because it really did it through and i didn't find that it took incredibly long to pull out so i don't think that's an issue but, um, yeah, I really, really liked that one. So that's Cactus Blossom. And then finally, I have Wine Cellar. Um, so there's the burn on that one. It looks like maybe it goes to about there. Um, so this is Mold Apples Fresh Fig and Cedarwood. And I had this scent. I never had this scent before. And then I got it from Destination Wax. And I honestly can't remember if I liked it or not. But I will say that that scent is an exact dupe for this. Um, and whether I liked it or not, I love it now. I just love this scent. So this does not smell like wine to me. But it definitely smells like the scent description. So there's something kind of like woody about this, but not in a bad way. You definitely get the fig, you get the apple. Um, and it's just such a beautiful combination. I get why this was such a favorite for so many people now. The burn on this was really, really great. Um, the throw on this was pretty good. I burned it in my room and I will say that I feel like when the air would like cut on, um, and kind of move the scent around. I definitely smelled it more. But when like the air would cut off. And we were just kind of sitting up there. And hadn't left the room or come back in. You know you kind of went nose blind to it. But it's a really good scent. I really like it. Um, and I will probably. I haven't placed an order with Destination Wax in a while. And I've heard she's made some changes to her wax. Because her wax wasn't always the best performing for me. But maybe that is something. I will um, pick up from her. So that is it. That's everything I got through for the month of July. And I have gone full steam ahead into fall. Um, I switched out everything because I'm over summer. I'm sick of it. I'm ready for fall. And so that is what is going on in my house. I do have a couple of candles 
um, that I'm finishing up that aren't necessarily fall. Um, but once those are done, I'm, I'm just going to be done. I'm, yeah, I'm over it. I'm ready. So, <laughs> so yeah, fall is in full swing at my house. And, um, yeah, you guys will get to see, uh, everything I got through in August. And that's it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'm sorry it's so long, but I did have quite a bit to get through. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.